Hello, creatures of the void beyond the veil. It's me, demonic entity, lonely. Welcome back to Worse Than Death. Last time, we escaped the high school reunion, and unfortunately, I did lose one of my lives during the first encounter. But nonetheless, here we are at Chapter 2. Things begin to unravel. And thank you to all my subscribers. Now, let's continue our adventure. All right, here we are again. I think at the, the Hydro Dam, and Holly is still complaining about her legs. It was so hard running through all the slush and water. The town is already beginning to flood over. Oh, darn it. No, no. The water is coming for us all. Flynn. Flynn. I'm so sorry. I'm such a coward. I should have stayed to look for you. Now look at the mess we're in. Well, complain about it later. Let's get inside. Oh, yeah, use those legs that hurt ever so much. Uh, and don't even have a problem with, don't even complain a little tiny bit about having to kick down that gate. Uh, hello? Damn it, I don't hear anyone. I don't see a phone or anything else I can use to call for help either. I should just look around. You're right. Look, we will. What's this? Oh, no! It's a radio coming from inside that office. Okay. The sound is mostly just static, but I can just hear a voice. You can, huh? Let me look at this. What's it say? There's a sticky note here on the wall. My youngest. Your oldest. K.P. Okay. Cool person, but spelt with a K, because spelling cool with a K is pretty cool. I like it. Whoever wrote that note's got some style. Oh no! The office is locked. There's some kind of four digit security keypad next to the door. Let me see here. I'm gonna go for, uh, uh, uh six, nine, mmm. Two, four. Uh, I mean one. Oh darn it! All right, well we'll come back to that. There's a work schedule pinned to the bulletin board uh, here. Uh, apparently, the last two employees here were Virgil Call Collier, 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 and Ken Peterson. I don't know why I have such a bad time with names. Collier, right? That's how you say that. Back. Okay, Ken, and call. Oh, wait a second. Ken? And Pete, Pete. Hold on, Collier? Peterson. K wait, KP, KP. KP! So Ken Peterson wrote that note. Okay. And he said, my oldest and your youngest or something? Okay, so I we're looking for a, a key digit for this. And that note, okay, four digits. So his oldest. Okay, we're looking for like dates on their, uh, on kids. We're looking for photos. We're looking for photos of children. There's a note taped to the wall. It says, Virgil, generator's acting up again. I thought you checked it. I'll be working on it all morning. Thanks to you. Go get coffee. KP. Oh, boy, Ken. Don't be so rude. Maybe he did look at it, and he gave it his best. You can't just hold that to people. Maybe they tried. Maybe they tried, and they failed, and they feel bad about it. And you're not going to feel worse? That's rude. I can't leave until I answer that radio. You're, uh, okay, I guess so. I was ready to just fucking leave. Oh, no! Not here! It's so cold again. I don't have time. Oh, fucking Christ. Okay, that was... Whoa. That was almost death right there. That was almost death. I'm just gonna... Okay, we need to get into this. 
and then figure out where and what and when they're going. How how much time do I have while he's over there? I don't have a lot. I really don't have a lot. How much time do I have while he's over there? It feels like a lot more time. Ooh, but not a lot, lot. <laughs> he kind of looks silly, doesn't he? If you can see it, it looks like a a weird plant-like monster with like googly eyes in the middle of his face. I don't know what they actually look like. Okay, this is stairs. This is a hidey hole. This is a uh oh. Okay, uh, I threw a hole in the wall. Uh, it smells like a slaughterhouse in here. My head is spinning. That's it? Oh, okay, well. There's a maintenance checklist for the station's generator. Workers were required to sign and date each inspection. I know what that's like. The last inspection was just a few days ago by Ken Peterson. The rude man. This is the station's main generator. Even for such a small station, it makes a lot of noise. You're telling me it's so fucking loud, I can't even hear myself speak right now. It looks quite old. And like it's been patched up several times. Yep. Okay. Uh, I, 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 I think there's some red juice. Oh, no, no, no! You're right. What did I just see? I saw some dude. It was a. It was just a regular guy. He looked scared. He looked just as scared as I am. What, what did I just see? I don't know. There's nobody here now. Just something stuck to the wall. Uh. uh wait. Uh, what? <laughs> There's a body here, or what's left of one? Oh. All that remains is some bits of flesh and bone and a uniform. There's half of a name tag still visible on the uniform. It says, Ken! Oh no, Mr. Peterson! Aha! This is for the door. Oh god. This is disgusting. There's red juice and who knows what else everywhere. Wait. There are some photographs here, stuck in the red juice. Abigail, 10. Jeremy, 14. Susie, 12. Um, okay, so I'm assuming... We're just gonna be taking the highest number and the lowest number? So it's, it would be, what, 14, 10? I think, 1410. Let me take a picture of this so that I can carry it back with us to the digit, digit box of digits of codes and code typing in thingies and buttons and beepity boops. Let's get out of this. This is loud as all that. I hate this room. I hate it. I never want to see it again. Wait, hold on. There's some musty workers' clothes and an old hard hat here. Has this place really been this run down all along? How can this place even function? No wonder the town has problems with flooding all the time. Something mighty fishy's going on here though, girl, don't you think? The old basin is caked with mold and smells stale. There are some ripped up instant photos at the bottom. Can you take a peek at those instant photos? No. Doesn't even give a shit. What's up? And hopefully not down. Where are we? There are some boxes of old parts strewn about here. Someone was in a hurry to find something. Oh dear. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It looks like the workers hoarded decades old equipment in here. Just to keep things running. Sounds, uh, sounds, uh, appropriate, actually. Every single maintenance place I've ever seen is the exact same. Ah! Hey, that's weird. 
There's a shoebox hidden behind these machine carts. It's not really that weird. I mean, you kind of use boxes whenever you can, right? But go for it. Yeah. Use your intuition. But what do I know? I wonder what's inside. Just fucking look. Just, just take a peek. You want me to do it for you? All right. There we go. Ho, ho, ho. Looks like pictures. Uh, okay. So that other guy, those photos were of that man's children. This guy, Derek Collier. This is the, the kid. They were so 15. All right. There's dozens of instant photos tucked away under the receipts and papers. And this is a photo of Carol. She looks like she's holding some kind of envelope and waiting for somebody. The photo on the right. Oh, and it's Jack. Yeah. Jack looks angry as usual. It looks like he's opening a patient door, like in a hospital. Huh. The image in the middle is of somebody's kid wearing hockey equipment. There's a name written on the photo. Yeah, I see that. You really don't have to explain this to me. I'm, I'm not visually impaired. Derek Collier. That guy that's dead. That fucking whore, Carol. Stupid bitch coming after my men. Okay, so... Why are there hiding spots in here if I didn't need to use that? Well, you know? What's going on, man? I'm just gonna... Oh, oh, that was disturbingly close. He's not coming, right? I'm just gonna give that a couple seconds. I don't know if that, like, resets when I walk into the room, or if it's gonna be right there. I have a feeling it would be right there. Okay. <gasps> Holy piss on my shit. That just... That, oh, man, I almost didn't make that one. He's saying things. He's, do you hear him saying things? He said, I did this. Don't assume. How did I do this? What did I do? Why is he blaming me? Right. We need the in... Uh, is there an inventory? I need to answer that radio. Yeah. You don't have an inventory, though. It's a good thing. I took pictures. So that kid was 15, right? So, if that guy was 15, and we go over here to this note, and this note says, yeah, 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 okay. So, his youngest, so KP's youngest, and then the next one's 15, right? So, KP's youngest is 10. So, we'll go for 10, 15. Excuse me. So we'll go we'll go for 10 uh, 15 hey hey it worked enter the room the radio is still on I need to answer it all right but let me look around first boxes of files about the station work logs maintenance manuals and the like Everything is soaked. This monitoring equipment appears well past its prime. How could anyone even track the floods with this? I don't know. It doesn't look like anybody's doing anything around here. Haven't you looked? Haven't you seen? I just hope Flynn's still on the other end. What? You think this is Flynn? Just randomly ran into a uh, hydro station. And you, you assume this is Flynn on the other end? Okay. Let's see if we can zero in on the signal. And it's loud. Holy. Right. I think I gotta move the knob. I'm getting vibrates. Oh, 
I did it! Huh. Holly, Holly. If you're out there and can hear me, answer. What? It is fl How? Huh? Oh, fucking bullshit. Flynn, Flynn, it's me. Holly. Oh, thank God, Holly. You're alive. You're okay. Yeah, I am. I am great. There's monsters everywhere, though. Have you seen? What the hell's going on? Where are you? Cemetery. Oh, that's just a brilliant place to be. Thanks for going there. <laughs> oh, he thinks. He, you don't know? How do you not know if you're in a graveyard or not? Where am I? The Hydro Dam. This is barely able to get you on the signal, man. How the hell are you doing? What are you doing down in there? I I don't know. I'm inside somewhere, like a crypt or something. I feel like I've been hit by a truck. Maybe you have. Maybe trucks came out of nowhere and just hit us. And put us in this awful situation. Flipping trucks. I hate trucks, man. The trucks. Rude. I found this portable radio with a bunch of other junk. Come on, you have to come pick me up so I can get out of here and we can fight the trucks. You're right. I can't. My car was totaled by that trucks. But just hang on. I'm coming to get you. What was this? Hopefully it wasn't a truck. Flynn. Flynn. It's a me right now. No, nope, I think he's gone. Okay. Damn it, the radio signal was cut right off. Oh, pace back and forward, why don't you? And then complain about your legs more. I have to get to that cemetery. He could be hurt, or worse, beat up by trucks. The fastest way is through the trailer park. Oh no, that's where there's probably going to be trucks in the trailer park. If it hasn't flooded over again. I better hurry. Yeah, you better hurry right now. Stop pacing back and forth. I got things I need to look at over here. Hold on. There's an old security monitor station here. But the screens only show static. Okay, bye. Wait, hold on. Is that more? No, it wasn't. Okay. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's good to know. It's good to double check things. If you don't double check things, then how do you... Uh... uh, uh, uh then how? God, Flynn, please be okay. Ah, stop. Gosh, darn, complaining about that boy. He's fine. He's sleeping. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's go right now. Please tell me that's the end of this episode. All right, there you go. We managed to make it through the power station without getting caught. We solved all the puzzles and contacted Flynn, who's in a graveyard. And to get there, it looks like we're going to need to get through a trailer park. So that's where we'll pick up next time. Thanks for being here, everybody. It's always a pleasure causing mischief with you guys. If you need to know anything more, see the description down below for links to my socials, the game, and its developer. And as always, thank you to my subscribers. I'd be nothing without you. So remember, everybody, no matter what your beliefs are, everybody has their demon. And this demon is just glad to have you along on the adventure. Now, hopefully I'll see you next time, too. Bye-bye.